Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Saturday of the fifth week of Easter. And uh, we're getting close to the end of our Easter season, a couple more weeks to go. But today in our Acts of the Apostles reading, uh, we hear the story of Paul and Barnabas and now Timothy, uh, a new uh, follower of, uh, of Paul and friend of Paul. And... Uh, how they were called to some places and not called to others, traveling around trying to spread uh, the truth, the gospel, the beauty of the truth. But in some places uh, were not successful or not even welcome, while in other places they had success. And uh, we, you know, the same challenge we all have today, we're going to have some successes in our endeavors to spread peace and goodwill and the good news of the gospel. And in other instances, we're going to be met with resistance and even with failure. Uh, but we just have to keep on keeping on and doing uh, God's work and God's will. Uh, regardless of the outcome, we, we just have to keep doing uh, what we're supposed to do. And even in our gospel today, Jesus says that, you know, they hated me, they're going to hate you too. They're, I had difficulties, you too are going to be met with, uh, with the same kind of persecutions and difficulties that uh, I faced. And you just have to understand that uh, pterodactyl just flew by, <laughs> otherwise known as the great blue heron. Uh, but boy, they look like prehistoric beasts. Sorry. Uh, anyway, back to our gospel. Yes, uh, Jesus uh, reminding us of the resistance and the problems that we would face. And uh, so we, again, we just do the best we can do. Stick to it. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. And just understand that... Uh, Sometimes our works will bear fruit, while others, other times, uh, the fruit will be a little more difficult to to uh, nurture and and uh, have it grow. But regardless, again, regardless of the outcome, we just keep up our faith and keep up our work, and uh, pray that. Uh, that God uh, helps us along the way, and uh, you know, we I, a friend of mine, a friend of mine, I call him a friend of mine. I I have met him once, and he's uh, on the radio. His name is Gus Lloyd. He talks about planting seeds of faith, and uh, you know, sometimes we don't see the fruits of our labors. Maybe they were they won't be evident for for years until. You know, maybe even we're long gone, but we just plant seeds and allow God to nurture them and and uh, bring them to fruition uh, in His time. So just keep planting seeds, my friends, and uh, God will add the water, the fertilization, and and the uh, the grace needed for the fruits to come. Let us pray our evening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The man of truth welcomes the light. Alleluia. Your word is a lamp for my steps and a light for my path. I have sworn and have made up my mind to obey your decrees. Lord, I am deeply afflicted. By your word, give me life. Accept, Lord, the homage of my lips, and teach me your decrees. Though I carry my life in my hands, I remember your law. Though the wicked try to ensnare me, I do not stray from your precepts. Your will is my heritage forever, the joy of my heart. I set myself to carry out your will in fullness forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let your word, Father, be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, so that we, we may understand what you wish to teach us and follow the path your light marks out for us. The man of truth welcomes the light. Hallelujah. God freed Jesus from the pangs of death and raised him up to life. Alleluia. <coughs> Preserve me, God. I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. He has put into my heart a marvelous love for the faithful ones who dwell in his land. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed the heritage that falls to me. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight, since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, happiness forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, uphold those who hope in you, and give us your counsel, so that we may know the joy of your resurrection, and deserve to be among the saints at your right hand. God freed Jesus from the pangs of death, and raised him up to life. Alleluia. Was it not necessary for Christ to suffer and so enter into his glory? Hallelujah. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave. Being born in the likeness of men, he was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Was it not necessary for Christ to suffer and so enter into his glory? Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people he claims for his own to proclaim the glorious works of the one who called you from darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were no people, but now you are God's people. Once there was no mercy for you, but now you have found mercy. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another paraclete to remain with you forever. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. 
You scattered the proud in their conceit. You cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another paraclete to remain with you forever. Alleluia. In rising from the dead, Christ destroyed death and restored life. Let us cry out to him, saying, Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. You are the stone rejected by the builders, which became the chief cornerstone. Make us living stones in the temple of your church. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. You are the, faith, you are the faithful and true witness, the firstborn from the dead. Make your church bear constant witness to yourself. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. You alone are the bridegroom of the church, born from your wounded side. Make us reveal to the world the love of bridegroom and bride. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. You are the first and the last. You were dead and are alive. Keep those who have been baptized faithful until death, that they may receive the crown of victory. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Light and lamp of God's holy city, shine on our friends who have died, that they may reign forever. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Ever-living God, Help us to celebrate our joy in the resurrection of the Lord and to express in our lives the love we celebrate. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You guys have a great night. Have a blessed Sunday tomorrow, and I will see you then.